all this fancy editing, this color pop, motion blur, takes a lot of time in rendering. So yeah, make sure to drop a like for all that hard work. Also, uh, I will show you the 300 FPS gameplay at the end as proof as well. My friends keep me out and it hurts every time With all the emotions I built up inside Oh, why can't I? First of all, make sure to watch these two videos as well if you haven't uh, because I have shown some tips other than the ones that I will show in this video for boosting FPS and Valorant and those two videos can be found in the description box or in the top right corner you will get the iPad card. Well, that being said, let's start the video. Okay, so what you need to do is just go to this PC, local to see users and your username obviously app data local and then scroll down until you find valorant click on save on fig and just open up the first folder in here click windows and game user settings these are the settings that you need to change but obviously don't worry i have done everything for you what you need to do is obviously keep a backup of the original one you can copy it and save it on the desktop and download this Valorant optimization resin stuff this folder from the link in the description then select the resolution that you want uh, if you have 1920x1080 then obviously this one and move it here else what you can do is if you have 1366 120 you can just choose whatever resolution you have but i would recommend you to use 1280x 720 even if you have these resolutions because having a lower resolution will give you much better fps you know much better fps in game so this one should be better just click here and replace it once it is done the hard part is done because shadow distance quality resolution scaling and etc i have changed all of them accordingly uh, so you don't need to worry just copy and paste now uh, what you need to do is just right click taskbar and the task manager and in here you will see startup so disable all the useless apps not required like steam i don't open steam every time i open my pc so you can just go ahead and disable by default it's enabled so just click on it and hit disable so disable all the apps that you don't really need once it is done what you can do is go to the start click settings and search for background apps there you go and just turn them off go in the gaming section and obviously turn the game bar off it's not really required so yeah just turn it off captures game game mode you can leave it on if you like and yeah important option here graphic settings go to graphic settings and there you go and yeah you have to select desktop app from here click browse and locate valorant like uh where's valorant just wait c drive write games live and here click add once it is added click on options and click high performance and save also you can go ahead and enable this one as well reduce latency to improve performance so yeah obviously why not and once all this is done you can open up the game and let me show you some in-game settings as well okay so uh, once you are in game what you need to do is just go to settings and in the general just scroll down a bit and you will see show corpses so it obviously yes turn it off because turning it on will eat up a lot of fps because rendering bodies will yeah just decrease your fps that's it now go to the video section and obviously change your resolution that you want like 1280x720 just hit apply once it is done i mean i'm in full screen window so i cannot change the resolution but obviously play it in full screen and change the resolution then fps limit obviously keep all these off now go to graphics quality and obviously multi-thread rendering is important so yeah turn it on and rest of it low 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 off off and 
and the aliasing off and 1x improve clarity off boom distortion cast shadows everything should be off and stats obviously you can hide them as well now go to the audio and enable hrtf so make sure to disable it because it is 3d audio and yeah if you disable it you will get more fps usually i get around uh, 300 280 to 350 fps with these settings let me just show you wait as you can see on the top left corner right now it's nearly 600 fps but obviously what does matter 600 fps on loading on agent select screen let's see how much fps we get in game so yeah just wait Shaking underneath, trying to take me 